This then is the worksheet to go with the Niall Ferguson episode 2 White Plague where we look at the mass migration from the Empire and how Britain turns the world white, essentially with the creation of the white dominions. And we start off with the concepts of liberty that we've already repeatedly looked at, the works of Lawrence James and Niall Ferguson himself in the book um, of the same series, Empire. The imperial conundrum of loyalty and liberty instead of loyalty versus liberty, which is obviously what happened in America. Starting off with the idea of plantations in Ireland and going through to how that then was exported on a grander scale to America, but this was the first British Empire, the Mercantile Empire, the Empire of Salutary Neglect. Uh, certain individuals, the type of person that moved to America, would bring with them and they would develop a certain character, certain qualities that would mean that when Britain ends Salutary Neglect in 1763, there is going to be problems. The kind of people additionally who went subsequently after the Pilgrim Fathers slaves and indentured labor. Moving on, we then move into how life had been good in America, but why America then strays, why then the issues of tax, tea and liberty become the fuel waiting for the spark that will turn into the War of Independence and a transatlantic civil war. Then the legislation that caused those problems and then why Britain wasn't able to resolve the problem and consequently how American independence was um, issues then for slavery and Canada. And then we explore how the British Empire, instead of ending over America, then is reinvigorated, and Britain then exports the imperial idea in a different form. We now have a stronger central government taking charge. This isn't sanitary neglect. This is government from the metropolitan centre and the uh, ambitious sociological plans to create a utopia in England by creating a dystopia in Australia, moving an entire class of people from Britain to Australia and then latterly dealing with Canada to finally come back to our concepts about liberty.